The question that I get with every single project that I do is, hey Sam, what's the best pricing plan for me? Obviously everyone's gonna ask that. Squarespace has four distinct pricing plans with prices for monthly and annual uh, subscriptions. So clients will always say, well, hey, what's what do I need? What's the best value for me? And you know, what should I go for? And I see a lot of people online talking about it and I thought, well, I know from literally launching hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of websites exactly what clients need. So I'm going to walk you through all four of your options and give my opinion on the two that I think are useful and the two that I think aren't that useful. So let's dive into it. If you go to squarespace.com forward slash pricing, you're going to see this page and you can look for annual or monthly. I would always recommend paying annually because you get a huge discount it's like uh what have we got there a third like 29 percent. great um so let's just do it annually and then we can compare uh, across the, the four plans so we've got personal we've got business commerce and then commerce or commerce basic and then commerce advanced so first i want to go through personal versus business because most people who come on squarespace are going to be doing this not everyone will well obviously not everyone but I'd say a minority will be coming specifically for e-com functionality. So we'll come on to that in a moment. So these two first, if we look personal versus business, right? Uh, 0% transaction fee on invoices. This is new Squarespace's invoicing tool. Haven't used it yet, so can't really pass any judgment, but uh, yeah, 0% fees on that, great. Uh, send invoices for free, that's cool. Free custom domain. Um, this comes when you buy um, annual I think maybe if we change that, yeah, you can see. So if you pay monthly, you don't get this. If you pay annually, you get one year free custom domain, which is nice to be fair. Um, mobile optimized websites, that's is what it is. They have the mobile editor and then templates. I mean, much of a muchness. Now, ah, that's interesting. You don't get uh, advanced analytics on a personal plan. I'm gonna come out and say, I think the personal plan, you, it's just pointless. Like the personal plan for me is only really there to make you realize how good the business plan is. So I would say for the vast majority of people, ooh, <clears throat> the business plan is going to be the best. So you get your free custom domain, template, blah, blah, blah. Then the main thing, and it doesn't actually say here, which is interesting, but the main thing, and I can show you on my Squarespace panel now, the difference between a business and a personal. So if I go into my own website and then I will go down uh, into pages, all the way down into website tools. So we've got custom CSS, which is here. And then we've got code injection, which is all of this. So with a personal plan, you can only do custom CSS you can't do code injection, which basically, if you want like, any integration, messes everything up. So, personal plan is just pointless. I would say, if you want a really good Squarespace website, go for business. If you know that you're not gonna use any code, you don't wanna put Google Analytics in, you don't wanna put any tracking, any JavaScript, anything, okay, save yourself five pound a month. But if you're a business and you're trying to cheap out over five pound a month, so like 60 quid a year, or, you know, we could do this in dollars, $80 a year, then I don't think the business, or I don't think you value the business that much. Maybe that's, maybe in judgmental, but you should be investing in the best, I think. And if it's such an infinitesimal difference, you may as well go with this. So... I would definitely, definitely go with this. Now, um, with payments, you get 3% transaction fee on online store transactions. That's not bad, to be fair. But I think that's on top of Stripe fees as well. So maybe check that. Because if you are going to be selling a lot of product or services or whatever, however you want to monetize your website, you're probably better going on to e-commerce or a commerce plan. So we hop on over to the commerce plans here. We've got basic and advanced. 
Um, advanced, historically, has always been better um, for like, uh, what's it called? Abandoned cart recovery and just some more advanced features like that, hence the name. Um, I wonder if, there we go, I can move myself out of the way. So, uh, you can do all the same thing as uh, business. So business is kind of like the Goldilocks of all the plans, I would say. Uh, now, powerful merchandise, and that's quite vague. Let's see what that means. Uh, wait lists. St um, wait lists and stock alerts, okay. If you think you're going to use that as a sales tool, then you'll need an e-commerce plan, or a commerce plan, should I say. Uh, and then you get rid of the transaction fee. So if you know you're going to be doing high volume of sales, that 3% will add up a lot over the year. So, yeah. If... If you're doing big sums, it makes like so much sense to go six pound higher, or if you're in America, ten dollars higher um, per month. So it it depends on the size of your store and the amount of volume you're shifting um, to see if it warrants that extra ten dollars a month. Everything else you can pretty much get. Then if we go into advanced, same same, and then we've got advanced shipping advanced discounting and subscriptions. If you're gonna go for commerce, I'd probably just go for this. Because if you're doing enough volume to warrant paying extra than a business plan, then it makes sense to just pay like a little bit extra and get all of this. So like discounting, basically you can do, um, you can give the, a deadline for your discount. So like, oh, expires in seven days. You can have a capped amount of usages. Uh, you can have subscription versus product uh, discounts. There's tons. Um, and this is really good because I had a client who I think they were on like a basic e-commerce plan and they just couldn't get the discounts that they wanted for a, it was a members area. And basically they wanted to give 10 uh, free slots to a company. So let's say a company buys uh, $2,000 of access. They wanted the discount code that could only be used 10 times and they couldn't do it with this, but they could do it with this. So it's small things like that. I would say, uh, and subscriptions is fantastic. It's, uh, it's surprising that that can't be sold on this. And that would lead me to my conclusion um, and, and this has changed recently. This is a little bit different. But I would say personal, no. <laughs> Business, yes. Commerce, probably no. And advanced commerce, yes. So really, it's a toss-up, I would say, between business and advanced commerce. If you're going to do loads of uh, selling, advanced. If you're going to do everything else, business. It just makes sense. That's not to say, maybe, you know, maybe you see these as good options. I'm sure they, they are for a ton of use cases. Otherwise, Squarespace wouldn't do them. But just as a personal opinion, it's going to be between business or commerce advanced. Now, you can compare the plans down here in probably a better table, to be fair. Uh, let me shrink me. There we go. So you can see all of the comparisons here, which is nice. There's loads and loads and loads of them. Um, and you can see... The Commerce Advanced has just way more. That's what I was talking about before. Um, abandoned cart recovery. If you want to sell subscriptions, you just by default have to go with this. So that's really interesting. And then even your APIs. Like if you want to add APIs, it has to be advanced. So again, I feel like this one's quite redundant. If you want to do pure volume, Commerce Advanced. If you want to do anything else, business. So hopefully... That helps um, as you know a Squarespace design professional. Pretty much 95% of my clients will always just go on business if they are doing e-com. And I don't really do e-com that much, but the ones that I have done, it's always on this. So hopefully that helped. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, whether it's normal or e-com, then get in touch using the links in the description.